Hi, welcome to another Mac 4 video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the ModelWorks plugin 3D Cutting Simulator. Now, in this video, I will show you how I have installed it on my machine. This doesn't mean it's how you've got to install it on your version of Windows, Windows 8 or Windows 10. I'm using Windows 7 Pro. And this is physically how I got it up and running and started using it on my own machine. So the first thing we need to do is download the 3D simulator plugin with this button. But something you need to um, understand is there is no demo of the 3D simulator plugin. A lot of the forum questions for model works might be because there is no demo to actually use this you have to purchase a license without the license you won't see it working you will have a green box so once you've downloaded the plugin and you've purchased a license for it we can go ahead and install the plugin. Install it whilst um, Mac 4 is not running and put it in the directory that your Mac 4 hobby is in. Click install and that's it. That's that one part done. Now we're gonna load up. I've clicked that twice. What's the matter with me today? We're not going to bother with the model works one. I'm going to delete that so I can show you how to add it to your own profiles. And I'm going to go for Mac 4 mill profile. So, if you look in the bottom here, it says failed to license feature M4 for solid sim mw sim blah 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 basically it can't find a license file so the way we license it in fact i'm going to show you what i'm not going to license it myself yet i'm going to go into the screen editor then in the tree i'm going to select our main tabs and add another tab to it and call this simulator like so and in this simulator I'm gonna add you've probably all wondered what these but this button is for which is a plug-in panel now a plug-in panel is a way for a plug-in or something to be released for the Mac 4 GUI like this simulator um, that's written in C++ so it's an easier way of just putting it out without having to write any Lua code for it as well. So in this tab we'll add one of these panels and I will resize it to something like that and that's probably what you're used to seeing is that green screen. Now in the registers this is what you can put in that panel obviously you don't want to put the g-code in that you would have um, I think there's one for the sim sim panel these are little demo panels to show you how they work but there should be the model works one in there but it won't show you because it's not licensed yet so let's go ahead and license it now See, you've probably seen that screen before. If you go into your help menu and go to a belt, now this is where you would have originally licensed Mac 4. But we're going to do exactly the same. It's not just for Mac 4, it's for any licenses that you're going to load into Mac 4 comes into here. So we'll load the license file, which is our 3D cutting simulator. That's now installed. But what you'll have to do to initialize that is close Mac 4 down. We'll start it back up again. Finally. Right. 
So our simulator panel is still green because we haven't told that panel yet what to do. So remember down here in the registers is our panel here. This is the MW Sim Zero panel. You click on that and then come out of your screen editor. You'll find our simulator is now initialized. The license is in there and the panel's been made correctly. So what do we do with it now?